In light of the tragedy in Orlando, we'd like to take a moment to pay our respects. My thoughts and my prayers go out to all the victims, their families and their friends. When these acts of violence occur, it's important that we all stand together and not give in to fear. As a member of the LGBT community, I always want to stand with pride and I always want to be myself. I'm proud of who I am and so should you be. So we will continue to be ourselves and continue to make you laugh and continue to try to bring light in a world that can sometimes be dark. Well, this year was the year of the Hamiltons. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Just saying Hamilton, <laughs> not Hamilton. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's time for a new A Brit and a Yank And don't forget to Subscribe! Tony's in town! You mean the Tony's? Yeah, I do. Who is Tony? Good question, I don't know. It doesn't matter because tonight was the 70th annual Tony Awards. Indeed, and while we're here in Tinseltown, we love Broadway. Oh, we love Broadway and we love the Tony's! The Tony Awards celebrate Broadway's best in both musicals and plays. And tonight it was hosted by James Corden, and you know, he and I have something in common. You're both fat? We are both from Essex. And fat. <laughs> I can't call him fat twice. This year was the year of Hamilton. Yes it was, yes Wait, it was. Before we talk about that, we need to talk about who was there. You're right. Barbara Streisand was there. My nose twin. Ow. <laughs> It was actually her first time there since 1970. Thank God I picked the right outfit. And can I say, she looked a little crazy. Yeah, but she's allowed, right? She's been around for a long oh, time. Oh, my, oh, goes without saying, she is an icon. You do what you want, Babs. And Oprah. <gasps> Oprah! Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, hey, you, you won't get a Tony. <laughs> Where's my Tony? Oh, you won't get one. <gasps> Thank you, Oprah, for bringing the color purple to Broadway. Was she in it? She was in the movie. Was, oh, but she's not in the musical. No. It's a shame. And tonight it was awarded Best Revival of a Musical. As it should be. Then, David Dix won. From Hamilton. And he was wearing quite the blazer. Well, it was pretty tragic. No me gusta. <laughs> and the winner is... Hamilton. And the award goes to... Hamilton. And now the winner is... Hamilton. <laughs> the winner for Best Musical was, of course, Hamilton. Have you seen the show? No, it doesn't seem to be my thing. And also, you, you have to wait till 2017 to get a ticket. Like, I don't even queue for food. Oof, you're right. Hardest ticket in town to get. But great performance, though. Congratulations! So Hamilton is, of course, the hip-hop musical based on the life of Alexander Hamilton. And what a weird person to make a musical of. Like, somebody just invented the light bulb. Hamilton was actually a founding father and a prominent American figure. Well, then we should have a musical about a prominent English figure. Like Cheryl Cole. Right. The Queen. No. Nikki Graham <gasps> from Celebrity Big Brother. I'm not fucking doing that! <laughs> The winner of Best Play 2016 was... The Humans! Congratulations! Well done! But let's be real. I'm sorry, but nobody really cares about the plays. Oh, that's so boring. Can we talk about the musicals again? Yes! Well, the reason that I like the Tonys over most other awards is all the performances. Oh, uh, yeah, they were great. Audra McDonald was there, and she always delivers. And Jane Krakowski. <gasps> Jackie, Jackie Lynn! What I love is how they kept running outside and performing songs from classic musicals. 525,600 minutes Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya, tomorrow The Phantom of the Opera is there Inside my mind and then they graced us with a fantastic tribute from Chicago. Oh, I love Chicago. BB North was so good. If I was in Chicago, I would murder you. You had it coming. <laughs> you had it coming. What's your favorite musical? Of all time. All time. Uh, Wicked. <gasps> Defying gravity. Beautiful. Thank you. And by the way, you had made a great munchkin. Oh, rude. I'm clearly Glinda, teaching you how to go through life. Okay, well, I'm up. 
Okay, whatever. But listen, there is a new musical that is coming, and it's going to be the best musical to ever have existed. Oh my god, I forgot. Can we show them? Roll preview! That's right, he's a British man, living in a foreign land. And here's a boy he calls a friend. Sometimes, a cheeky chap from USA. And if you hadn't guessed, well, yes, he's... No, that's too risque. You can't say that. Well, it's obvious. Who cares? True. Okay, whatever. Every Tuesday, they upload a really funny episode. So please come back. Watch a great Annie Ank. Alexander Hamilton. Which, can I say, it's a really weird thing to make a musical about somebody who invited... invited? He invited a light bulb. Come here, light bulb. <laughs>